Welcome to Mind Behind Academy Advanced Course. Today we will create AI-based chatbot, which will be taking some coffee orders. So as you can see in here, we have already start action, which is coming as default. As the first message I want to send to our user is a greeting message. I will add it by going to add a new action and putting send message. In here, I will use, in here, I will choose send text and in here, I will write very short message just to say hello. Once the message is ready, I really want to know how can I help my customers? So I'm giving this, this, so I'm giving them the opportunity, the opportunity to tell me what they actually expect from me. I'm putting use AI and, and I connect it to our AI provider. I already connected this company to Dialogflow. So if you would like to check how to connect your company to any AI provider, please check our video on this topic. Right now, I'm simply connecting this in here. And right now, you can see AI action itself with all of details that, again, you can learn about in our other videos. Right now, I will be creating an intent that I can expect from my users at the beginning of the conversation, which can be, for example, I'd like to have a cup of coffee. That's the only the name of my intent, so I will not lose it if I create more intents. Let's go. I want a coffee. And in here, I will write I will write a bunch of different utterances that can be asked by our customers to get a coffee. And as you can see, I wrote some types of coffee. So right now, I prepared some utterances that can be asked by our customers. And as you can see, we have cappuccino, white coffee, Turkish coffee, latte, and so on. So you may wonder, do I really have to write all of these types of coffee? And for every type of coffee, do I have to prepare an intent? So there's a good news. We don't have to do that. We can, um, we can use entity function that I prepared for you in another video. So right now I will do it very quickly. But if you, if you'd like to learn slowly how to do it, please check the video on entity topic. Once it's ready, we will connect this intent to our answer. As answer, I'd like to give them opportunity to choose which size of coffee they would like to have. So I will use right now send selection. And as the name of send selection, I will simply write, now, write size. And I will use send quick reply. In prompt message, I will suggest them to choose one of the options below. And by clicking plus, I'm giving them three different options on that, which is size, which is small, medium, and big. In button text, I'm calling the, the first option will be simply small coffee. The second one will be medium. And the third one will be large. So after that, I have all of information that I need to complete the order. I want to be 100% that my customers don't want to order anything else. So I will simply connect all of the, all of these buttons to my next message where I asked, is there anything else I can help you with? And I will use for it send, send text. Once it's ready, I'm connecting again to AI action to give them opportunity to tell me what they want to do right now. Now let's go to AI action and let's create an intent which will tell me that they would like to complete the order. So I ask them, is there anything else I can help you with? So once I, when I ask such question, 
on one hand, I expect no thank you, that's all. And on, a, on, another, on another hand, there can be also option, yes, I would like to order. Let's start right now with complete order. And in here, I will, uh, I will write all of the options that tell me that the order should be completed. After such message, I would like to complete the order. So I need the address and phone number of the customer. So let's connect such message to question that I'm going to ask them. I will use for this again, send message, and I will write here address and send text. And in here I will ask for their address. And to get this address, I will use get input. This input action I will call address. The parameter will be exactly the same. The regex, I don't need any regex right now because address is hard to put in one system since every country can have different system for address. After I get address, I will ask also for phone number in case I cannot find, for example, the apartment. And again, I will ask them with my send text. And I will get this phone number with get input. After that, I would like to complete the conversation by thanking them for the order and then simply with end conversation. So again, let's send message to them. Send text. And after such nice goodbye, I will simply end the conversation with end conversation action. Right now, as you can see, I connected only one, only one answer. Let's connect all of our actions right now. After our start action, we want to greet our users with our message action number two which is, of course, hello. We prepared it before. Now let's connect it. Simply, okay, start action, we connect with hello. After hello, we give some creative potential to our customer, so I connect to AI. Then let's go to AI, because here the whole magic is happening. And let's start with I want coffee. The I want coffee intent, we want to connect with a size question, which was selection action number four. Let's give it name to it so it will be clear. After that, every size, I want to connect to question, is there anything else I can help you with? So let's connect it. Button type is module and we connect it with anything else. So every single button, I connect with the same question. doesn't matter which size they're going to choose. I will get this information. And now let's save. In case that our user doesn't choose any of the options that they can have in here, I would like to add some fallback to force them in nice way to actually choose one of the buttons. So I will add fallback. And as fallback, I will again uh, use send message and call it fallback for size. And again, I'm connecting this to selection action because I will give them opportunity to choose the size again and come back to size. And our fallback will be fallback for size and save. If they go with the flow and choose one of the size, we will go, we are going to anything else. And again, we connected this action with 
AI action. Now let's have a look at our another intent, which was complete the order. If our user would like to complete the order, we will ask them for the address. So let's connect this intent with address question. Right now, once we ask them for the address, we would like to really get this address. So I connect it to the input action number seven. After that, when I get the address, I want to ask them for their phone number which was message action number eight. And again, I would like to give it a name. And phone number again to input to finally get the num number. Once I have all information I need to deliver a coffee, I would like to thank them in a nice way and finish the conversation. So right now, let's connect input module to thank you message. And after that, let's finish our conversation. So I connect action number 10 to end conversation number 11. Right now, we have AI-based AI chatbot just with two intents, but it's already quite intelligent to take an order from a customer. Let's save it. So as the last step of preparing my AI-based chatbot, I would like to test it. To test my chatbot, I'm going to preview section that you can find in the right-hand corner. And right now, as you can see, we have here a hello message that I connected as the first message to start action. So now let's order a cup of coffee. select the size and complete the order. Let's give the address. And the contact number. And our order is completed. Now all we have to do is to wait for our delivery. So this is how you build your AI chatbot. In preview, you can test it and just simply have fun with it. If you would like to learn more about our advanced actions or how to speed up creation process, check our other videos. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this video and you learned a lot. Have a good day.